Young Kiv tomorrow. Eagles and Redskins is what it'll look like here. And Noah wearing that Carson Wentz jersey. Yeah, he's the Eagles. And here is Zeke Elliott. It's kind of weird playing as a Redskin, but that's just how it goes here in this Madden Challenge. 17 years old, we mentioned. Henry at 16, wise beyond his years. J.D. just turned 20. I mean, he was a teenager until 10 days ago. And, you know, Henry's already established in that top eight of this Madden Challenge, so Noah's trying to get right there with him. We have two people that are under 18 in the top eight. That's pretty amazing. How about this day, though, seriously? You get that letter that you've been accepted to your first choice college, and you compete in this tournament. You're on the Twitch stream capping against guys that are way older than you, that have done way more than you, and the community is taking notice. I, I would think that this particular day will go down in uh, a very favorable dimension for, for this young guy. Yeah, you know, this day is going to be a day he remembers forever. You know, that that's pretty amazing for him to get, get accepted into Maryland. It's a good school. You know, I'm a Buckeyes fan, so Big Ten, <laughs> uh, not too bad. He's got his mom here today. His mom's an aerospace engineer, by the way, so... Being pretty sharp, I guess, uh, it's a family trait. Going from right near the 35-yard line, there's Michael Vick handing off Dalvin Cook. Gets massacred here, gaining only a couple. Yeah, and Ghost is going to be sticking with this strong close a lot. Whenever he does run the ball, he's probably going to audible around to those I-form slots, I-form wing. He's not very comfortable running the ball out of this strong close. Mainly, mainly going to be passing. Broncos playbook for both these guys. We'll talk a lot about that going forward. Great defense. Yeah, the lefty pass to Ross, but Cameron Wake is right there with a white foul tackle, bringing up third down. Cameron Wake, not the guy you love to see in coverage, but he makes a play right there, brings up a third and short. I would like to see Noah get a little bit more aggressive right here on defense. And with that Broncos playbook, you, you can run and pass pretty well out of it, right? Yeah, one of the most balanced playbooks in the game, but it does have this strong close, and I'm going to say it has a full strong close, and what that means is it has all of the great run plays, all the great pass plays, all in one spot. Well, he's still got Zeke Elliott in the backfield, though Dalvin Cook motions out to the left. This is going to be easy conversion for Ghost, I think. Yeah, finding Elliott turning around, and he pile drives his way forward to move the chains. You could just tell how Noah was moving around with his defensive players. He just wasn't very comfortable. And, you know, that Kevin King's not a very high overall card. You know, Noah must have got stuck with three DBs for him to be on the field in the 3-4. Goes was so excited to get this Broncos playbook. Last year in this tournament, got a playbook he didn't like, and he made an early exit. Two-time Redskins club champion. And Michael Vick surveys, throws, Ross has got it near the first down sticks on a low throw from, as RG would say, the Vickens. Yeah, and you know, go so prolific, not going to make any mistakes. If you're, if you're Noah, you've got to get a lot more aggressive on defense, in my opinion. You're making it way too easy on him. So weird to see Vick against the Eagles. Here's Dalvin Cook churning forward. Michael Vick, the number one pick of the 0-1 draft. You Browns fans might remember, you guys picked third that lit with that year. Took Gerard Warren ahead of Justin Smith, LaDainian Tomlinson, and Richard Seymour. And Reggie Wayne and Drew Brees. I didn't have to go there, did I? You know, I, I'm not a Browns fan, so you're not hurting my feelings <laughs> at all. You know, and uh, the Browns, they definitely deserve to hear it all, in my opinion. <laughs> Second down, seven coming up. Getting late in the first quarter. And getting late in the evening out here, too, in the San Francisco Bay Area. Big shout-out to our crew. Long day for them. They're still standing, doing a great job. Oh, Michael Vick not standing. Down he goes. And, you know, this is where Ghost kind of messes up. You know, he's been moving the ball really, really easily out of this strong close. And he audibles to this weak pro formation. He's not, he doesn't know the pass protection quite as well and gets sacked, setting up a, a very, very tough third down right here for him. Noah's been library quiet so far. I mean, we saw him cap at a very high decibel level to start the day. Well, we'll see if he gets another sack here, how he acts. On a third and 15, that's a guy that he's across and might cap back. And that's the thing about live plays. You're not, you're not online doing this. And Ghost just honestly... Oh, there's Larry Fitzgerald Ooh. underneath, right on the first down sticks. I think he's got it. Just barely picks it up there. You know, I, I thought Ghost would have went with the slant, but he went with the in route. It looked like, honestly, an impatient call there from Ghost, but great stick work right there to get to the first down marker. Nice time-consuming opening drive, huh? 
He's going to take a shot here. He's going to motion over this post from right to left. He's got both 11s out there at receiver, Fitzgerald and Ross. And Vic in trouble. Down he goes, back near the 40. And he was going to have his tight end freeing up wide open right there, and that's going to be the last play of the first quarter. A scoreless first quarter. So knowing that it's donut to donut here, just zeros, is that any surprise to you the way these both teams have both played defense today? Honestly, I think that I think that first quarter favored Noah. You know, he's got him at a second and twenty right here. If he's able to hold him to three points, he's going to have plenty of time to run the ball, do whatever he wants, and then he's going to receive the ball at halftime. So if you're Noah, as long as you don't turn the ball over before half, you're in really good shape no matter how the rest of this this quarter goes. Noah demolished Trey thirty-eight to six earlier today, then lost two tight ones back to back after that. Had he made a two-point conversion after a, a touchdown against PK Deliverance, he might have had the bye instead of the wild card. And, you know, he was one play away from not even making it through. You know, if Trey would have uh, scored on deliverance, Noah would have been knocked out. So he's right. really playing with house money himself. Vic sets his feet, ladles it out, Tell and the him. ghost oh has got gosh. it. That's Casper. Amos, come on. And, you know, he wants Amos to lay a big hit stick right there, and I don't blame him. Amos, one of the best safeties in the game, but Dave Casper, also one of the best tight ends in the game. So fighting fire with fire right there. Ghost using the ghost. Five-time Pro Bowl Raider. Favorite target of the great Ken Stabler back in the day, the Snake. So early in the second quarter, it's been hogging the ball here for Hassan Spall, the 22-year-old who goes by Ghost. Honestly, I would like to see Noah dare Ghost to run the ball right here. I don't like him coming out in 3-4. I would have came out on a big dime set, even versus this tight, this two running back, two tight end set, or two running back, one tight end set, excuse me. I feel like you're making it a little bit easy on him here, bringing no pressure. Third and 12, already in field goal range, just have to avoid the sack. Got a good block there. Watch the playmaker again. Great defense. Yeah, uh, Vic just flushed out, gets rid seven. of it. Come on. Go get seven. And he's saying go get seven, but even if he's go able get to seven, get three man. points and take the rest of this time seven, with him, he's in a really good situation. That's yeah, essentially almost six minutes off the clock out of the, the 20 that you get. And this field goal is dead letter perfect. And you know, this is the perfect amount of time for Noah to have a complete drive, be able to take his time, get all any play he wants to run is open. His entire playbook's open to him, and he's got plenty of time to run the ball. This is a perfect situation for Noah. All he has to do is capitalize, which can be tough. Thomas Morstead pounds it away. John Brown brings it out. All right, so now we get to see what Noah's all about with control of the football. And one thing we haven't talked about yet, but I'm sure we're going to talk about it a lot going forward here, Mo. This guy's got Chris Johnson. Yeah, Chris Johnson's going to be the, the staple of this offense. He's going to be the guy that has to make it happen. You know, Noah, not prolific on offense, but he is very good at running this football, and that's all he's going to be trying to do in this game. During the draft, how wide did the eyes get of young Noah, do you think, when that CJ2K card came up? There's not a better card that can come up in that round. You know, CJ2K is exactly who he wanted, so I'm sure he was as happy as he can be. Now, steely-eyed to start right now. And he has really maintained that sense of calm all day. I mean, he, he was playing early on today. Now he's the last game of the night. You know, he's, he's going to have to break a big one versus Ghost. You know, he's gonna, we're, we're going to need to see some of those highlight plays. He's not going to be able to just move the ball slowly down the field like he was versus Deliverance and, and take his field goals. He's going to have to get sevens versus Ghost. He's got a good offensive line. He's got two tight ends. He uses Nate Solder as a tight end. He's got O.J. Howard to deploy as well. But I think you're right. He's got to find some of these receivers. And he's got some fast ones. He's got John Brown, Debo Samuel, D.J. Moore. And I've played Noah a lot. Look for him to take advantage of Ghost putting those guys right there. He knows that he's just clicking on his defenders so they don't move him. I wouldn't be surprised to see Noah pass the ball early in this game. Using Marcus Mariota at quarterback. Johnson oh, a stutter step. Sticky, baby. That's stick. CJ 2K big man. game. That's stick. And he's not lying. That is some serious stick work right there. He stops, stop, stop and goes the user. Great stick work right there. You know, we see a lot of times when these guys stop and they cut inside right there. That was the perfect decision to keep it outside. And he's going to go with Philip Lindsay here on the first down. Out of the Broncos playbook, the actual Bronco. Ooh, a little duck under right there. Went under the limbo stick to pick up three. I would like to see Noah, you know, be a little bit more patient. Take some of this clock with you. No reason to hurry up, you know. There's only three minutes left in the in the half. Try to take the rest of this this half with you and then get the ball back at half. No that, reason to give Ghost the ball again. That's stunning what you just said. Three minutes left in the half. This is the, the second possession of the game. 
Out of the eye with Johnson dotting that eye. And it is CJ2K gunned down in the backfield. I wouldn't be surprised to see Noah come right back in this eye form. He doesn't want to make a mistake down here. He knows he already has three points. It's a third and 13. Showing a three-man rush. And still plenty of time on the play clock here. He's going to run stretch right. Yes, he is. CJ2K. Touchdown. Come on, man. Little wiggle. Ah, Not the touchdown, but first and goal. And if I was no, I probably would have just tried to get to that pylon. He probably would have tackled him just a little bit short, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't be at the seven-yard line. You'd probably be about the, the two or the three. And, you know, that's a great run there for Noah. He's going to, at, at the very worst, he's going to get all three of Ghost's timeouts right here because he is going to run the ball three times. Whether or not he gets the seven, gets seven is the only question. Play clock almost out. And we get to the two-minute warning. And this is a great drive by Noah. I love him stick. I love him sticking with the run on third and 13. You know, I know it's, I know it's scary. You know, you're never going to get seven almost, but Ghost does end up giving up the big run, and he doesn't make a mistake. Just a really good decision there by Noah. Using George Kittle as a fullback. And Johnson is belted. Got a little John Simon action right there. Former Ohio Stater. Now we drip down towards the end of the first half. Just 3-0 here. The winner gets Young Kiv tomorrow. That's when we're down to the final eight. That's Brown in motion. Howard and Soldier the tight ends. Right and left respectively. He's going to run stretch left right here. He knows that Ghost just clicked onto him. Got the right guy for that with CJ2K. And Solder out there to help block if indeed that's where it's going. I'm telling you, I've played Noah a lot. He's one of the most patient runners I've played against. Touchdown. Patience. On, five. Goal line. Touchdown. Come on, man. Go I'm telling you, this kid stop. is sharp. He knew that Ghost had clicked this. on, meaning the, the cornerback's not going to follow defense. that wide receiver anymore. And he was just waiting until he had the numbers. Great patience there by Noah. It took the entire play clock until he had the numbers in his advantage, and it works out perfectly. That's a great first guess by Umo, and now it's 7-3. No Still so plenty of time here for a response from a Gaming of Spall, or GOS Ghost. Ross able to slip forward. All right, so with 150 and a couple timeouts, how quickly do you try to get this ball downfield, or can you be patient? I think you still got to take what you what, what he's given you for now. You know, you can't make a mistake right here, then give up some more points to Noah. You got to make sure not to turn the ball over. That's first and foremost. We mentioned Ghost did not have a great showing here at this tournament last year. This is a chance to step forward for a guy who actually won the hundred grand in Minneapolis at the Super Bowl not too long ago. Come Michael on, Vick is down. He's screaming. This is dangerous territory for Ghost. This is Come very on. easy to turn the ball over. And if he does, Noah's going to get some points before half. This is this is getting really dangerous for Ghost. Look for the delayed streak right here to the tight end. Two sacks for Anzalone already here, too. With a buck 23 left in the half. It's Gerald slipped. He came back, and he did make that catch right near the 20. And the, a mistake I see a lot of players make right there is the, on defense, they burn that timeout, giving their opponent a free timeout. I love Noah not burning the timeout right there. Wait until after third down. If you get the stop, then you call the timeout. It's a third and 11. And again, two number 11s on the field. Ross goes right next to Fitzgerald. Vic. Come on, Vic. That oh, oh, it is picked. It's Smith who's got it. Come on. That's sick. That's sick. That's the Come touchdown. On. One stop end this. He's Let's not go. lying. That is great stick work right there. And that was a phenomenal lurk. Ghost had the tight end post coming wide open. Wasn't patient. Expected Noah to go away, and he doesn't. Come on, man. Great lurk right there. Let's then go. great stick work after the lurk. Telvin Smith, the 17th linebacker selected in the class of 2014. And for the 17-year-old Noah, that's a big selection to make it 14-3. It's so dangerous in those spots before half, it's very easy to turn the ball over. Oh, the Mark spin Barry. by Ross, but he couldn't shake free. Let's take you back to it. Michael Vick looking. Look how open that tight end post is, but he's just expecting him to go away from the slant because the tight end post is running wide open. The pressure starts to get there. Ghost has to get rid of the football. He just makes a bad read. Come on! That's sick! Come on! Well, Ghost sat there and took it, although, of course, he's got the headphones on. Note to self, 
I, I want to see Noah when he gets to that dorm room in Maryland and, and whatever roommate he gets, <laughs> see when he gets that excited how that goes. They're either going to be best buddies or they're going to be button heads a whole lot. <laughs> you got to put it right there on your roommate for him, right? <laughs> Must play Madden. Must be okay with me capping. So here's Vic trying again. Casper turns around. He finds it with 34 seconds left. He's on the 34-yard line. Chance to go down and get three here anyway, right? Yeah, but this is uh, this is still dangerous territory to turn the ball over. And we haven't seen Ghost in this formation all tournament. You know, he's been in that strong close all tournament. Making the switch here to Trey White Flex, try to get some bigger plays. Some good blocking for the tight end, Casper, who reels in another one. If you're Noah, you got to make an adjustment. you got to realize how big a two-possession lead at halftime would be on Ghost, especially with you getting the ball at half. Zeke Elliott with a little room. Juggled the ball a bit. He goes down. There's a timeout taken. Smart timeout, of course. 24 seconds to go. And if you're Ghost, if you have Dalvin Cook right there, you're probably going to get another 10, 15 yards and maybe even have a chance to break it. Accidentally has Zeke Elliott in the game right there. Crucial error. Noah needs one sack. He needs, to, he needs one good play on defense. Keep him in bounds, short of the field goal range. Make Ghost use that last timeout. He's got Cameron Wake, he's got Cameron Jordan, Fletcher Cox, got some guys that can do it on the field for him. Look for the post. Running from right to left, Larry Fitzgerald. Yeah, he's slot right. Oh, and he is open. But Michael Vick will tuck it and run and slide near the first down make. 19 seconds left. He, he might have had Fitzgerald there. He's not in field goal range, though. He's just on the outside of it. You need to get to that 38-yard line to be able to make the field goal. So this is all Noah has to do is keep him inbounds right here. Oh, this is a dangerous That's call. That's Dalvin Cook, and he does go this down. This is going to be really close. He's not going to get it off. You don't think? Oh, my goodness. Wow, with two seconds, he spikes it. Great decision there by Ghost. Wow, that was very, very impressive. I would have probably went, tried to go down a little bit earlier, but because there was under two minutes, he actually got to snap the ball faster. Very clutch there by Ghost to get those three points. Graham Gano, who in the NFL has been good from 63, knocks this one in, and it is 14 to 6 at the break. Let's go to James at the desk. Josh Lewin, thank you so much. If you're looking for one of the best DB legends out there, look no further than the Madden Challenge giveaway card. Guaranteed by attending Madden Challenge Finals on Saturday using our Twitch extension or following us on Twitter. You can score yourself an extremely rare Nat 96 OVR Champ Bailey pulled right for the Madden Ultimate Team Playoff Masters Pool. Now before we head back to the game, we've had Noah wired up and he has not been afraid to show his emotions. Okay, seven, man, come on, come on. Okay, seven, man, come on. Come on, man! Sticky, baby! That's sick! That's sick! Come on, man! That's sick! Touchdown! Come on, man! This ain't defense! That ain't defense! Come on, man! Go get one stop! End this, Noah! End this! Get a stop! That ain't defense! That ain't defense, mom! And the winner, of course, in this matchup will take on Young Kiv, but we already know that Deliverance will take on Wesley in one of the quarterfinal matchups. But this one right now, it's a one-score game. Goes trailing by eight, 14 to six. For the second half, we send it back to Josh Lewin and Sirius Mo. All right, thanks, James. And there is a serious look on the face of Ghost. Madden 18 Club Championship, great showing there. And by the way, in those headphones for Ghosts, very chill. He slows it down. A little weekend, a little Maroon 5. I don't think that's what Noah's listening to, the way he's reacting over there. Yeah, well, we see a lot of rappers get up on stage. Ghost is a singer, you know, so that, that's, that's, that's who's in Ghost's playlist. And he looks like he's actually making an adjustment. He's not, he's not stopping those safeties anymore from, from motioning. I love the decision here. You got to do something different. Not a single passing yard yet. I'm gone. Wide pass when you got oh. CJ 2K, and he almost maneuvered free. You know, Noah's getting a little too excited. He should have just kept running right there. Get as many yards as you can get. Three points is so big for you, especially because you're going to be using this clock. Speaking of using clock, Ghost took 5:45 before he kicked that first field goal, and now maybe <laughs> want some of that time back because he's down eight. You've got Kittle as a fullback. And it seems like whenever Ghost gets set up, he plays pretty good run defense. 
Yes, he does. Boy, you're right on cue right there. There's a stick with Jimmy Ward coming up. The only problem that Ghost has is when he gets clicked onto that outside corner and he's, ha he's forced to follow that wide receiver by himself, Noah's just going to always be able to get the numbers up to his advantage. But if Ghost is patient, he'll always be able to set up his defense. I love what Ghost is doing. He just has to be patient when he switches onto his guy right here. And he missed him. Again, zero passing yards for Mariota right now. Noah's, Noah's going to make him pay. Oh. oh, and a timeout taken. Great timeout there by Ghost, though. You know, you can't give up a touchdown in this spot. You cannot give up another first down. I know a lot of players wouldn't use that timeout, but I love that Ghost decided to use it right there. It's too big of a play. This drive means way too much. you got to live to die another day here, right? Absolutely. On a second and nine. And he's set up again. He should play great defense. All right, it's been a Ghost calling card. Oh, the play clock still with plenty of time on he, it here. He messed up again. He messed up again. He's forced to follow the wide receiver all by himself. All right, so now what? You just hand it off. And let CJ2K roam and pick up the first down yardage. Anytime Ghost gets clicked onto the outside corner that's, that's lined up over the wide receiver, Noah's going to take advantage. He's always going to have the numbers to his side. He's going to run that stretch. And if, and if Ghost gets set up, Noah will just take his losses and run the dive and just try to pick up a couple. Well, again, when you've got Chris Johnson, when you're blessed to have the chance to pick that card, uh, I guess you might as well ride that horse best you can. And now Ghost is set up again. He shouldn't move anywhere. Just stay on Savage, and you're going to play great defense. And he just clicked on to Moreau again for no reason. Wow. <laughs> a little bit of a squirm to get forward here. Nine carries, 107 for Chris Johnson right now. But if Ghost was on that safety, he would have been able to plug that gap himself. He probably wouldn't have gave up four yards right there. And now Noah's in field goal range. So you need to tackle him for a loss right here. You cannot allow him to get points. Has, has the, the school in session, uh, I, I guess that's the best way to say it. I mean, has there been some learning? Because you've said twice now he's missed the opportunity to go ahead and, and not click in like that. He, he won't do it a third time, I wouldn't think, right? It, the problem is it's so tough to, to, to there, you know, there's guys mo mo moving all over the field, so it's really tough to get clicked onto the correct guy, and Noah's going to take advantage of this 3-4 set all day. Still run, 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 and Johnson, no room here. It's going to be third down. I would love to see Ghost come out and goal line if, if Noah comes out and goal line again. He's got to tackle him for a loss right here. Almost guaranteed that Noah runs a dive right here. He doesn't want to lose any yards. He's going to run dive. If I was Ghost, I would try to get aggressive and, and, and run commit. Field goal opportunity would be 50-plus for now, so that's what you're looking at. Decision time on fourth and five. You kick it? Oh, Noah's going to kick this every single time. And I'm honestly surprised Noah didn't take more clock. You know, this game could be in the fourth quarter right now, but he's snapping the ball early in the play clock. I, I don't love it, but, you know, he still took, you know, four minutes, which isn't terrible, and he got some points, so now he's up by two possessions. 52-yard attempt for Gano. Both these guys using Gano as their kicker, and wisely, there's the, the running of the clock that you were calling for. I'll take it all the way to two seconds, and flip it up and in. All right, so 17-6, to two-score game, right? So no panic yet for Goes. He has certainly scored more than 17 already here this afternoon into this evening. The problem is, in this in this particular mode, you have to take a really slow, methodical pace. It's very hard to get big plays through the air, so expect Noah to just play coverage defense, give up everything underneath, and force Ghost to kick a field goal later on in this drive. I would be very surprised if Noah gave up a big play. He's got Zeke Allen motioning. Michael Vick has got to go to work for him now. Over yeah. the middle, that's dangerous and almost picked. Simply incomplete. You know, Noah has a phenomenal lurk and he's, he's baited Ghost a couple times now through the air. And I'm very impressed with this kid. 17 years old is Noah. And Ghost is only 22, but Ghost has some skins on the wall here. Noah's still trying to make his name. On a second down and 10, and needing 11 a tie. Nope. Nothing there. Ezekiel Elliott gets completely destroyed. Telvin Smith having a big night. And this is getting really scary for Ghost. Third and 14 isn't no joke. He's got to take what he gets. You know, he cannot, he cannot take a sack right here. Oh, no. 
Fourth down. He snapped the ball. He snapped the ball when the guy was motioning and it hit his hit his own player. So that's why that ball just squirmed forward. It's a really tough spot right here. What from your own what 17 yard line? You need 13. This is this is nearly impossible to get. Watch for the dig route if he gets time. Michael Vick. He's got them. Ooh. Ronnie Lott was almost able to take it, but there's Ross to reel it in. And Ghost just, he, you know, this being the end of third quarter is so big for Ghost because he just needs to take a breather. You know, those were a terrible set of four downs, and he needs to just take a little breather, lock back in. Well, he's kept it alive for now, heading to the fourth quarter, presented by Snickers. I dig because suddenly people think it's okay to talk on speakerphone in public. What was that? Oh, nothing. Just some lady digging a giant hole. Digging a huge hole. Looking at the leaderboard points-wise, and, you know, we figured that 1100 is kind of the safety zone, right? Clef's almost there, he's at 1075, gotta be feeling pretty good. Nothing's guaranteed though, and Noah needs this. Ghost really needs this. Yeah, Noah's gonna have to get in that top two spot probably. You know, this is this is dangerous. Actually, if Noah wins this game, he'll be in a really good spot. Both these guys, this game is absolutely crucial for them. Yeah, the top two will move forward. You're gonna pick up a couple from the, the last chance qualifier online. Then it's all points after that. You think about Clef, who was 17th last year he just missed to, to, to be in that top 16 and he's got a big game coming tomorrow against crush and I don't love I don't love ghost running with Ezekiel Elliott you know he's his slower back you know I, I need to see ghost air it out I know I know Noah's playing great defense but you got to find a way to put it together you cannot just continue to run the ball take a chance right I mean you've got Larry Fitzgerald you've got John Ross who runs a 4-2-40 yeah, not a lot of time left here. Vic is looking downfield underneath to Casper. That's been kind of a safety valve for him. That's four catches for Casper. But you know, he picks up, picks up eight yards and gets out of bounds. Ghost needs to take that on every single play of this drive if he can get it. Now the clock is the enemy here for Ghost. But again, you get the, the field goal and the touchdown and two-point conversion. You go overtime. Oh, oh, he threw his man open, and John Ross able to scoop it off the deck. And that's why Ghost is one of the best offensive players in the game. You know, that's a read that a lot of players aren't making. Threads the needle. Great pass there by Ghost. Desmond King was right there. Once again, Casper. Oh, he just couldn't stay on his feet. And it looks like he was going to have that dig route coming up open again, but Noah's user doing a lot for Ghost right now. It's, it's scaring him often. And, and that's what the reason that pass is, is just not coming out as quick. Five eight-yard pass plays to Casper. Vic getting rid of it. Oh, what a catch, Fitzgerald! He high points it with that right hand. And that's very fortunate there for Ghost. You know, absolute crucial play. He needs to strike before the two-minute warning because he only has two timeouts. That's a huge play there by Larry Fitzgerald coming down with that. More than 17,000 receiving yards in his NFL career, but as far as Ghost is concerned, those 20 in Madden right here, those were the biggest. 3.05 to go. And Fitzgerald stays on the field. He's a number 11 to your left. Ross with that great speed to the right. Vic surveys. Ross has got it, but that's not much of a gain, is it? That's that's a very bad play for Ghost, because now you're forced to speed up. It would have been much better for him to just throw the ball away. I would like to see Noah mix up some pressure here. He's going to spread Elliott wide to the left. And look that way. Oh, he stayed inbound for a moment. Michael Vick now 15 out of 18, but for only 138 yards. There's really no big downfield ball this entire game from Ghost. Looks like he's gonna go right back to that same play. He's gotta get a touchdown before the two minute warning. On a third and two. There's Cook. He burrows and he's in, that's what he needed. And that was huge for him to dive into the end zone right there. If he would have been stopped short, he likely would have used one of his timeouts. Not, not an actual timeout, but that two minute warning serving as a timeout right now for Ghost. Huge play and just as big is this two point conversion. 
I'm impressed because he just kind of went down in, in small chunks, right? I mean, he, he never did go for that big 45-yard pass play, just a series of eights, and he got what he needed. You know, and he probably should have got stopped on this drive. You know, it, Noah had a few plays where he just needs to step up and make a play, and he just didn't make them. This two-point conversion is absolutely crucial. I expect him to run dive here. He's got a third tight end, O'Shaughnessy, in there now. If I was Noah, I'd just run commit. Penny the fullback. Then the give to Elliott. Bouncing. Oh, and he couldn't crawl in. It stays 17 to 12. And you know, this is where it gets a little tricky for Noah, though, because whenever your opponent doesn't get that two-point conversion and you're still up a touchdown, it gets really easy to play too conservative and just punt your, your opponent the ball back. Whether, rather, if you were only up by three, you would play pretty aggressive so you can get the game over with. Let's go back to how they, they got it downfield here. Michael Vick. Ladles it out, and the, the catch of the night by Larry Fitzgerald. Such a fortunate play there for Ghost. Allowed him to get back in that strong close formation, running a little bit slower. Ooh, that ball almost came out, but CJ2K hanging on. Remember, the two-minute warning will stop the clock, and two timeouts remain for Ghost. And, you know, Ghost is showing him a different look, and I don't think Noah really knows what to do. He's trying to feel out this in live action, and that can be very difficult. Those thumbs aren't shaking, I notice. He's, he's fine. The 17-year-old trying to hopscotch into the next round. I think he's got ghosts and he's got ghosts confused right now. And past the two-minute warning, looking to pick up a first down that could make it very difficult for ghosts. Obviously, now the, the critical element is you must hang on to the football. Looks like he's going to just go to the dive. He really he's he hasn't seen this defense before, so he's a little he's a little concerned with running the stretch outside. Now well, taking it inside, and there's that timeout. And I know some people are going to say, boy, he's killing himself as Ghost by not having the full complement of three timeouts. But go back to why he took that timeout earlier. That was maybe a touchdown-saving timeout. It, it was a touchdown-saving timeout. You know, he ended up giving up three on that possession instead. And we, and that's that, that's a difference in the game right now. If he gave up a touchdown, the game would be over. Look for Noah to go to a delayed streak to his tight end out of the backfield or out off the line of scrimmage right here. A minute 57 away from moving on for young Noah. Mariota has not thrown a pass for positive yardage Let's yet. And he finds Howard now. Come on, man. Come on. And that's Let's that delayed go. streak I was talking about. Noah stands up. He knows the game's Put over. Respect on my name. Great read there by him. And it, 